What's up guys and welcome back. We are back from the dead it seems like. Um, school's been crazy. Uh, had a long time in England. Um, about four months in England so that was really cool. Great experience but basically we're back to bring you guys some good content and just make it short and sweet and you know hopefully teach you guys a few things and just uh, let you guys know what we are doing in the gym and whatnot. So um, this workout was back and triceps. Uh, fairly simple movements, uh, but just very fast pace, um, short rest periods, and uh, it's definitely split into supersets. So stick with me through that. Now our first movement, as you can see, is the cable pullover. I like this movement because it gets me away from the dumbbells, and I like. I like to use cables when I can just because of the constant tension that is put on the muscle itself and I can mechanically get my body in a better position to execute the movement as I get the full concentric squeeze and the full stretch. Um, and we're dealing with shoulder extension here and adduction, so on the concentric portion of that movement. So just make sure you're focusing on that. And this was supersetted with tricep pushdowns. Um, you'll see me get into steady position here. Maybe check myself out in the mirror, check the gains out a little bit, but you know, no harm, no foul. But yeah, get into a very stable position here and really drive through. Um, we don't really want a lot of movement here. Um, just the elbow extension is all we're really looking for and that squeeze in the concentric portion of that movement. And we also want to flex that bicep on the eccentric portion to add tension to the inhibitory factors of the tricep trying to relax. So that will add tension as well and aid your pump. So if you're having trouble in this area, try that little tip out. And our next movement is a tricep what I call mid cable pulley tricep extension. So we're gonna be going up throughout that movement. Um, the big tips on this one are going to be to keep your elbows in and uh, really keep your shoulders from shrugging up and down. Uh, it's kind of hard if you have, if you lack in shoulder mobility, it can have some issues there, uh, but you just kind of work that out and try and stay as stable as possible in your shoulder girdle and keep those elbows in. You can see I kind of fight it a little bit here. And this movement's also called, uh, can be called mid pulley French press. Same, sim very, very similar to what you do with a dumbbell. And uh, yeah, great movement. Uh, a lot of tension, a lot of load on that tricep there. So try that one out. Next we move on to a DB hammer strength isolation row. Uh, I really like this movement. It allows me to really isolate uh, that lower lat there. Uh, you can see that I do extend all the way down in the eccentric portion and I come back with my rhomboid and uh, retract my scapula and get that stable first. That's the first movement I do right there and then I pause slightly and then finish the movement with the pulling motion back through my rhomboid and putting that load and tension on my lat alone. And by making myself very stable in this movement, I'm able to isolate my lat even more. If you notice that I'm not swinging at all or creating any momentum, that would really hinder that isolation. Um, and I. I just show you the other side here just to let you know I do the same with the other side. And all these movements so far have been five sets of 10 reps on the superset, so uh, you're getting a good amount of volume in right there. The next movement is a chest press. Uh, this is a super slow machine. These machines are pretty rare and I'm lucky to have them at my gym. But these super slow machines allow you to really put a lot of focus and tension in the eccentric and concentric portion of your movement. Now, 
if we're talking concentric and eccentric portions of the movement, a good tip to make sure that you're keeping control of that total movement is if I were to say stop in the middle of your set or in the middle of your rep, you should be able to stop on a dime and be able to control that weight either in the eccentric or concentric portion. And you'll notice that I kind of do that to myself just to make sure that I'm keeping that constant control and tension on the muscle. And given it all I got here, uh, this is an added chest workout on a back and tricep stay just to add chest volume to my week. And what I superseted, it was basically a tricep actually. I ended the workout with a tricep and that is just as you see here, the chest press and these face pulls. And then the next movement is a chest focused machine tricep or a chest focused machine dip. Uh, but these face pulls here are just really focus on that rear delt. As you can see, um, I keep my shoulder girdle, shoulder girdle pretty stable throughout the movement just to really focus and isolate those rear delts. Um, and that's what I'm really trying to focus on in this movement. Uh, push those elbows up and out uh, in a transverse plane to keep the tension and load on those rear delts without really transferring that weight anywhere else. Now I'm thinking about face pull, pull it through eye level, through your face, and hint. Uh, the last one here it's of the tricep is going to be your machine dip. Uh, I have a forward lean here. You can see the back. I'm not all the way pressed up against that back pad there. I am forward lean uh, to take some of the tension off my triceps and put a lot of the load on my chest itself. Again, I added this, these couple chest movements just to get more volume in for the week um, because I lack in that area, I feel like. Um, that's gonna conclude the video. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, Please comment if you did uh, like the video, if you want more of this kind of stuff. Uh, again, just keeping it short and sweet. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.